Hey, good afternoon and uh, welcome to North Country. Uh, in one of our last videos, we talked about introducing everyone to the pack and the individual dogs and some of their traits. We had a little conversation on Piper, who's an outstanding young dog. She's three years old. And um, today, what we'd like to do, we're going to talk a little bit about Sally and a, and a couple of other little things that, that go along with it. You know, when we talk about introducing you to the pack, the word pack may mean different things to different people. To some people, it's just a brace or two hounds, and other people, they might have 20 or more. Who knows? Um, everybody's got their own thing going on. When we talk about the pack, I, in my opinion, I think it's important that we, we know, whether it's two dogs or more, that we talk about how these dogs run together. Uh, sometimes dogs just don't run well together. Sometimes they babble. Uh, they're barking they don't have the track other times the dog will like to steal the line he'll have the track and not say anything sneak out ahead someplace and then open up uh, you know uh, several hundred yards away because he's jealous of the other dogs now that doesn't make doesn't make these dogs uh, poor dogs or inefficient dogs in what you're hunting uh, they may not work well together but integrated with other dogs they may do just fine so when we talk about a pack and you know and the only way to, to to describe it is this you have to have a lot of time involved in these dogs And I like to have them all go individually I like them to be individual so I can see exactly what they do and then I like to see how they run in conjunction with another dog or two and Then ultimately three four maybe six hounds at a time and and mix it up so that I can see What it, what exactly is going on as far as the pack concept is concerned? Um I, I think, in my own opinion, is that if you have them all as individuals and they all run with that individuality in their, in their head that they can do it, they have the confidence to do it, and then start adding hounds, instead of having just a bunch of dogs and calling it a pack, know exactly what you have. I like to run two dogs at a time, whether I'm cat hunting or bear hunting. I think any two good dogs ought to be able to get the job done. And it's easier for me to handle two at a time than it is to have a, a bunch of hounds. I, I think it, two can do the job. Um, and that sometimes uh, on a cat race, I may only have one or I might have three, depending on the situation. But my preference, the ideal situation for me, is having two hounds that work together and get the job done. So Sally, who came along about uh, a, little, uh, a little less than two years ago from Danny Luke, as a young pup, was a, uh, she was a, five month old four or five month old pup at the time uh running loose out in her out in the range you know just enjoying life hanging out with older dogs and and just being a puppy and and, and becoming very woods wise and also independent at the same time on my way to vermont visit with danny and pick up uh, a little female called sally kind of excited about picking up this little girl going to make this springtime an awful lot uh, easier on me than just hanging out at the house. So uh, we'll keep you posted on her progress as time goes by. There we are. We made it back in good shape. She's taking over our lives, all right. Too tall Sally. Now all she wants to do is lean on Daddy. Yeah, she stays right over here in the truck and rides good. Yeah, we're off to our first training session here and. Uh, We'll see how things work out. I'll keep you posted. She's a super nice, well-adjusted dog. And that's what good breeding does. She's five or six months old, and I'll keep you posted. Talk to you later. She wants to drive. We can't let that happen. So, so Sally, uh, who, by the way, was the pick of the, the litter, I believe the parents were uh, a female that Danny called Patches and a male called Ranger. Not, not my Ranger, but a dog that he calls Ranger. And they had, they had traits that were quite interesting. Uh, Apaches was, uh, and is, as far as I know now, still very gritty, very gritty dog, very, uh, you know, right after it. And, uh, and Ranger was, uh, was also a, a, a super nice bear dog, and he was, he was kind of rough at the tree. Now, I don't mean he was rough with other dogs. He was just, uh, from, from what I was told, he was just rough with a handler. He might pull you right off your feet. Well, uh, uh, you know, that, that's, that's fine. You, you young guys can deal with that. When you're my age, uh, sometimes it's a good idea to have a dog that's a little less, uh, let's just say, uh, 
joyous at the tree, okay? Uh, and so Sally was, is a combination of, of the, her parents in this way. She's uh, got a real nice cold nose on her. She uh, is a nice trail dog, good track dog. And you know, just because they have a cold nose doesn't mean that they're good, uh, they're good track dogs. They might have a cold nose, but they might not want to use it. This dog will use it. When she starts a track, it's going to go. I mean, I, when I hear her open, I know that something good is probably going to happen. And it may take a while because there's no telling some, in some cases how old the track really is. But Sally will stay with it and, and, and work it out. You're going to enjoy uh, looking at her here in a little bit. But I just wanted to throw that out there about Sally because she's just a nice, nice dog. And I mean, I'm, I'm forever thankful to have her because at the, at the time I, I, lost, I lost drama. And then I got the phone call to, to come and, uh, and, and get, get her if, if I wanted to, to come and get her. And of course I did. And uh, I went, I went to, to Vermont, picked her up from Danny, and I've been happy ever since. But we're going to introduce you to her here in just a little bit and show you she's a real fine looking dog. Some of you guys have seen some pictures of her before. Uh, she gets after game. Uh, when, she's, when she gets it jumped, she's after it. And she's an extremely fast dog and a good tree dog. Now, she's not a put her feet on the tree, bark 100 barks a minute tree dog. She's under that tree and she's talking to them. And she's not bumping other dogs. She's not jumping up the tree. She's just a real lady when she gets there. And these are little things that are, are important as you go along and as you get older. Uh, because these are the kind of dogs that you're going to have to handle yourself sometimes in the woods and it's a lot better and I, I never need a leash I can call her off with me and she'll come with me I'll get her away from the tree a little bit you know sometimes uh, 50 yards or so and then I'll tell her to come on we're going to leave and she'll come with me that, these are nice features that hopefully you look for in, in, in your dogs uh, and, and, it, and it might not be necessary these traits might not be necessary for you but they are, they are for me, it makes a, a hunt a lot more enjoyable. So that's all I've got right this, at the moment, but we're definitely gonna, we're gonna look at Sally here in just a little bit. We've had a pretty tough week here uh, as far as temperatures. Uh, here at camp, it's been down around 14, minus 14, minus 18. So uh, those are kind of cold climbs and they all, dogs naturally all come in on nights like that. Uh, they, get, they get fed late in the afternoon and they, they come in for the evening and uh, that I think keeps a little weight on them and they're pretty happy to be inside. So, all right, we'll go get her now. We'll have you take a look at her. You guys tell me what you think in comments. Uh, you know, we always appreciate the comments. Uh, if, you say, if I say something that's, that's not right or something that you don't agree with, I don't mind uh, having you share that with me in comments at all. Maybe if one of you guys got an idea or two you wanna share with me, then I'd be very appreciative of that. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day, and the next thing you're going to see is little Sally girl. We'll talk to you in a little bit. Have well, a great day. We're getting day. ready here to take a little video of uh, Sally, and uh, even though they didn't want to go out in this deep snow this morning, she decided now she wanted to take a little romp, so uh, she's running up to the kennel, and I'll go get a leash and bring her back. Uh, nice dog. I think you're going to like the looks of her. And uh, we did talk a little bit about uh, introduction to the pack. And uh, this is going to be the second series. The first one that we did uh, last week was on uh, Piper, and now we'll do one on Sally. Uh, they're not litter mates, but they're definitely cousins. So I'll get right back in a little bit. I'm going to go up there and grab her now. This is Sally. We talk so much about her because she does a nice job. Nice long legs, good mouth on her. Yep, good feet, good tight feet. Don't you, Sally, huh? Huh? She's a good dog. And uh, she's a keeper. I wanted to talk about some of her physical attributes. She's got a good voice on her. You can hear her a long ways off. Feet on the tree, kind of tree dog. Decent locator, pretty good locator on cats. And a real hard, hard gritty dog on bears. We like Sally. She likes to get into that kennel downstairs where it's nice and warm. So, go ahead and, and uh, show you what she does when she's at the door. Try to get a close-up on her, but give you a good look at her. Got good straight legs. What do you want, Sally? You want to go in? Huh? You want to go in? Oh, okay. Come on. Hey, get down. Don't jump on Mama. Let's go in. Let's go. You ready? Come on. And that's where they like to be when it's cold out like this. 
right down here, right downstairs where it's nice and warm. Oh. And this is where they live on the cold nights and days. And you'll notice it didn't take her long getting to that warm blanket. She got right in there where she likes to stay. The gate? No, huh? Yeah. I think I can probably leave it right open. Huh, Sally? Good girl. She's a good girl and a good friendly dog. Good with other dogs. Not a mean bone in her body. Just a nice, nice hound anybody to be proud of. Thank you, Danny Luke. We love you for it, buddy. We're very happy with her. And I hope we want you guys all to see that uh, when it's sub-zero weather, which it is here quite a bit, this is where they live, right here in the warmth. So y'all have a great day, and we'll talk to you later. That's Sally. Nice addition to our pack. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And we will be finishing the Meet the Pack series very soon. Thank you.